All right. Uh, we'll start mailbag in just a couple minutes. And um, we got a, a bit of stuff to go through today, but I'm going to try to keep it moving along. So uh, we'll get started soon. Oh, almost forgot. All right. Well, let me check the cameras real quick. Hi, meow to you too. That must be Spork talking, huh? Spork is so such a talker. She has got the biggest vocabulary of any kitten. She knows so many different words to say. And she talks a lot. I don't know if the rest of her family talks much at all, but she definitely has a lot to say about everything. And she makes so many different noises. It's super cute. Now, let's see here. We're going to check to see. I guess that looks good enough. We'll just, we'll go with it. Okay, check here. Good. Okay, well, uh, no real news today because we covered all of it yesterday, but if you want a summary, everybody's doing pretty well. Uh, I was hoping that Serenity by now would be completely free of her bad poops. Um, she doesn't, it's not having, you know, serious bad poops anymore, but they're still not 100%, so... Uh, we'll see. I hope we can find something that, that gets her to 100%. Uh, meanwhile, she did get to visit with people a little bit last night. She's real friendly with everybody. She doesn't put up the slightest bit of fuss about any other cat. Um, but she also doesn't really participate much. She's still kind of like she is. She just wants to snuggle with her people. Um, you know, you invite her to sit down next to you and snuggle, and that's all she's going to do. She doesn't get up. She doesn't go anywhere. She doesn't look around the room. She doesn't explore. She just wants to be held and petted. Uh, which is pretty sweet. So, um, then uh, the tiny, tiny, tiny kittens, the two of them, are in the main bedroom with DJ and have been all weekend. That's why you haven't seen them on the stream very much. Uh, but they'll probably go back to the office tomorrow and then they'll be back on the stream. Just uh, DJ is, you know, she's got the weekend off and so she's really taking advantage of that. But they're fine. They're super healthy, in fact, uh, doing just great. And uh, I guess that's it. The big news coming up, of course, is that we're all waiting to see how Teaspoon does at his vet visit on the 23rd, which I think is Tuesday. So that's the fun we have planned um, and the fun uh, that we've had. Uh, let's see here. Now, I found uh, there's one letter that got here a while ago from, uh, I want to say it is from uh, Bob and Ruth. And it didn't come in through the usual channels, and I've had it on my desk uh, waiting to be opened during a mailbag, and I keep forgetting to bring it down here. But this morning, I remembered, oh, and I see it is a bit late because it says, Happy Anniversary, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, here's to this year and many more to come. Congratulations and many thanks for all the kitties you help. 
Bob and Ruth. So that's a real pretty uh, too. Thank you very much for that. Nice and simple, uh, but I'm glad I saved it for the stream. So thank you so much for thinking of us and sending that along. Uh, let's jump right into it. Let's not waste any time here. We'll just start opening things and uh, see how we do. Um, I would like to get through all of this today, so I, I you know, we, even if it takes longer than an hour, but I'm also, uh, I'd like to get through it in an hour. So I'm going to try to keep things going, and uh, maybe, fingers crossed, we might even finish a little early. We'll see. I don't want to keep any of you too long on your Sundays either. Uh, of course, you can always uh, come back and rewind and watch it later on, so there's that. All right, this on the outside says it is from Tanya with a J, and there's some very cute little kittens sitting in donuts on the top. Oh, I see, we've got the note attached to the flap. Look at that, pull me out. Now that's convenient and clever. Very cool. All right, pull me out. Uh, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, oh my goodness, you sure do have a full house now. Uh, it makes me sad that the t orphan tinies don't have their mama. However, my heart is full of joy because they've become the luckiest little orphans and have been blessed to land at Kitten Academy. It's a Cinderella story for them. Aw, uh, okay. Um, so, uh, I would just mention about their mom that she did go to the vet. I don't remember if I ever said that. I think I did. Um, she did get um, to the vet, but it turns out that she is, like, hyper-feral to the point where even the vet had some trouble managing her. And they did eventually get her spayed, and um, there's a, a friend of the vet that has a barn and has been looking for a barn cat, and they thought that she would be perfect for that. So uh, they sent her to a farm, and that's not a euphemism for anything. <laughs> it's just that they literally uh, sent her to be a farm cat. So, uh, okay, uh, thank you so much. You really do make a difference in the lives of these furry little creatures. I know it's a lot of work and worry, but you're doing a great job. So when you're sleep-deprived or feeling overwhelmed, take a deep breath and know that people from all around the globe are cheering you on. Which is a good moment for me to mention. I, I meant to say uh, I am a little extra tired today because I'd planned on sleeping in and I didn't get to. The kittens uh, woke us up this morning uh, demanding some breakfast, but it's, you know, that's good. That's a good sign, I think. Um, this letter comes with a little gift for you, Mr. A, and our gifts to add to the endowments for Nibbles and her utensils, as well as for Puddles and her April Me Hours. The bags are tied tightly, but I'm including a photo so you can see their contents. Oh, well, how cool is that? Uh, is, the, is the photo in here? Is it in the bags? I guess we'll find out. Uh, at any rate, uh, we're still told what it is. Regardless, it says each bag includes a kitty cookie cutter for their adooters. A catnip crinkle plushie toy, a chirping fuzzy face ball, yellow for moms, blue for boys, pink for girls, five pom-pom balls, and two iridescent crinkle balls. Oh, those are the fun ones. Just a reminder to the viewers that most toys should be supervised. Uh, that's always a good, uh, our giant, <laughs> that's always good advice. Uh, all cat toys, really. You'd be surprised. Um, I know, uh, remember that the, the orange koi fish that I, I loved so much um, seemed like the kind of toy you could just give a cat without supervising. Uh, and then Silo, I think it was, uh, chewed off part of the tail and swallowed it. And it's made of like a nylon or something that does not digest at all. And fortunately, he vomited it back up. But it's a good reminder that even toys you think seem perfectly safe, you still need to keep a close eye on. Um, so you say... Uh, our neighbor's giant kitty boy came to visit and ripped the plush toy open after playing with it twice, so we had to do some surgery on it. The ones I'm sending are probably best suited for kittens. Uh, okay, so let's start uh, with, with that a little bit before I keep reading. Uh, this is so cute. There's tissue paper in here, and it's sealed with a cool-looking cat who's wearing a piece of lettuce as a hat. Uh, that's pretty cute. Oh, wow. That, those are some nicely packaged little uh, uh, pa packages. Yeah, that's what I want to say. How cool. Uh, wow, and you've sent some for, for everybody. They're so pretty. Well, here, here's what they look like. Uh, each package has just what you said on it, and I don't have to open them up, and that's wonderful. And you've got these great labels, the sparkly labels, packed with love for Spork. And there's one for each of them here, and it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, and here's the picture. Okay, there it is. Uh, and you can see, I think you can see what was in there anyway, but this is super cute. Uh, very helpful. So there we go. That's a picture of everything that's in there. You can see we got the chirping ball, we got the big fuzzy thing, we got the crinkle balls, the uh, little felt balls, uh, catnip toy, and the cookie cutter. 
Very cool. Then there's another thing here that says to Mr. A. I should show you this, by the way, because these are so cool the way they're all packed in here. There, I hope you can see that and maybe even read the names. Uh, okay. Your gift is a container for your sticker collection. If it's too small, you can carefully remove the vinyl I've labeled it with and use it for something else. Oh, look at that. It says stickers. I, I might have some full-size sheets, but I can always cut those because, you know, we can just cut them through the stickers. I bet this will work really well. Right now, I just keep them in a folder, which is not too cool. Um, but uh, this is great. Thank you. Um, the Dollar Tree store sells these at back to school time, though I've not seen these clear white ones for a few years. Need more? I can hook you up. LOL. Your channel and videos continue to bring me such joy. I know my husband, Leo, enjoys it as well. Maybe not quite as much as me, though. Please know that Kitten Academy, both feline and humans, are in our prayers each night. Kisses for kittens and tummy tickles, too, and hugs for the humans. Next time I see you kissing on the kittens, I'm going to tell myself that you're kissing them for me. Uh, hugs from Utah, Tanya with a J on YouTube, uh, and that's Tanya and Leo. That's, uh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. What a great note. And I love all the little uh, cats. And uh, there's a little girl hugging a cat here and a big feline, joyful, uh, happy kitten here and one hanging from a branch. Super sweet. And a princess with a crown kitty. Uh, what a, just a, a well uh, put together uh, package. I really appreciate that. It's so pretty. So thank you very, very much for all of it. And this can go straight down for the endowments. I just, I love the way you've packaged all that. I love that they've each got a ribbon with their name on them and those those fancy little uh, cards and the whole thing. The adopters are going to get such a kick out of that. I just know they are. Uh, I'm going to put the note over here, though, so that can go with the other notes. Looks like somebody wants to get into theirs early. <laughs> Is that, uh, wow, that's spatula. She's kind of thinned out a little bit since her spay. She's, she was so round before the spay. Uh, I'm sure she'll make up for that. I don't think you want to sit in there, though. That's not, a, that's not one for sitting in. All right, uh, Tanya with a J, thank you so very much. That's just wonderful. I know I had the knife out. I know I did. Oh, there it is. Okay, you guys could all see it. These guys are just sitting here. <laughs> They've got, we've got uh, Maggie, Ari, and Custard all within a foot of each other and right in the middle, Ramekin looking at me like, uh, yeah, I'm part of this. Here we go. The monochromatic kitties. Hey, look over here. There we go. Okay, that'll do. Good job. That's all. Just wanted you to look. Uh, let's see. Does this say anything on the outside? It does not. Ooh. But we got some great mice in here. Oh my goodness. It says, small toys, one each, springs and mises per cat for nibbles and the cute tinsels, endowments, crinkle balls and wipes for general use or use as you see fit. Thank you so much for all you do from Laura, kitten fan. Well, thank you so much. So one each, springs and mises for the nibbles and cute tinsels. So these are the mises apparently. Uh, a value pack of 10 of these little skitter critters which are uh, still, like I, I always say, Logan's favorite toy to play fetch with and always a hit with the cats. And we've got a whole bunch of those in here. So the springs and crinkle balls and wipes must be in one of these other containers, and I'm sure we will find it in due time. Meanwhile, these are fantastic. Uh, let's see. I actually want to leave your note in here so that I don't forget when it comes time. Uh, you know what, I just have to write nibbles uh, on this package is all. So, okay, we'll put these back in here. And before I forget, because there's just, my brain does not have anything these days. I've got total dad brain from taking care of those kittens. I'm going to put nibbles plus on it. I'm going to write it in a couple places so I don't... Nibbles? Oh my gosh, don't read this. Okay. All right, we'll just set that aside for a minute and keep rolling. Let's see here. Thank you so much, Laura Kitten fan. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Okay. So this says Joy F, and it looks like it was shipped straight from Amazon, but it's got some different tape on it, so that's a little confusing. I hope it made it intact to us. You don't normally see that clear tape from Amazon. Ooh. 
But I do see some notes and what appear to be blankets. Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope all is well. Sending some reversible mats and also two plush beds. I think the teeny tinies would look cute in, but please use as you see fit. Kitten hugs from Abby, Bayou, Lila, and Carabine. Well, thank you so much. I'm guessing that when you say two beds, that uh, means the one that we opened yesterday that we've already got on the bed upstairs. And then I'm guessing this is an identical one um, that is uh, a rainbow uh, pattern. That's very pretty. I'm not going to open it yet. Um, We already deployed the one, and this is so nicely packed right now. I I really like that. Um, Plus, as you say, uh, wait, did you say this is the four-pack of the really soft blankets? And you say, um, well, you say reversible mats. I guess they are reversible mats, technically. So thank you very much uh, for that, Joy and company. Uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to put them in here for now, and then we can start this off as a box of sort of general use stuff. How about that? Okay. I'll put it right there behind me so it's out of the way. And we will keep rolling. Oh, oh, uh, oh, okay, here we go. All right, this one says the droplets. Okay. Is the droplets how we're referring to the, the five, uh, now two little kittens, maybe? Oh, these are cute. Uh, so these must be the wipes that, um, that uh, let's see, uh, Laura Kitten Fan said, crinkle balls and wipes for general use. These are the Pampers Sensitive. These are good. We use these very often. Uh, these are for the super tiny little heinies. Thank you. We've gone through so many wipes now. Uh, um, Pat uh, sent us uh, the... Um, Uh, Mama Bear brand wipes, which are really nice, and I think we're almost through the two cases of those that she sent, even though, uh, you know, we kind of try to conserve them by using actual toilet paper, too, because they don't don't necessarily like being wiped with the wet wipes, but we always use the wet wipes to wipe up afterwards, and I use it to wipe out, you know, when they spill milk everywhere, and so it's it's crazy the rate we're going through them, Uh, so these will be super useful, and you say, give them a kiss from us. If you kiss their back in, make sure you wipe it first from Joe and Halfers. Oh, okay, cool. Well, we must have even more wipes coming in. Like I said, that's good because we're going through a lot of them. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for that, uh, Joe and Halfers. All right, not what I expected, um, but that's good. Like I said, we can, we can always use uh, some of those. Uh, in fact, we had uh, we had so many wipes for such a long time. We had like this giant backlog of Pampers wipes and of the Mama Bear wipes, and even some of those water wipes. I gotta admit, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the water wipes. They're just they're too wet, honestly. Um, but uh, uh, we've we've had like a huge, I guess, collection of them, you know, waiting for us to use, and now we've, we've gone through them all. Uh, I think, I think uh, you know, except for the last remaining bits of the Mama Bear wipes that Pat sent, and this stuff, uh, that's, that's what we've got now. So, uh, so thank you very much, I guess, is my point. Um, it's just in time to replenish our stocks. Okay. Ah, now here we go. These are the springs and the Mama Bear wipes. Look at that. Okay, so these are the ones that are from Laura Kitten Fan. Look at how it all comes together. So here we have the springs. These are so great. And uh, by the way, uh, you said these are for nibbles and the utensils. And these guys, I've, in the last th- two or three days, I have seen them playing so much with these springs around the house. That's one of their favorite things. I guess they've just gotten to that age now. Uh, so these are going to do very well for each of them. And I'll just put those in with the mice. And then here, Laura Kitten Fan, oh, I think there's some more springs to get out of there too, is another pack of the Mama Bear Wipes. And these are great. I think of all the wipes, these are probably my favorite. Uh, the Pampers probably come in like a close second, so those are great too. Um, but uh, these, these probably take first place. They're really good. Um, and I think part of the reason that I like these is uh, I think they've got the right sort of pH uh, acidity where the Pampers can be just a little bit uh, citrusy, just a little bit on the acidic side. Uh, these are, seem like they're a little bit more neutral, um, which I think is nice. Um, but they're, they're both well within uh, what the kittens use, and so we, we definitely use them all, and that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow, well, this one's actually moving pretty quickly. That's good. We'll see if we don't uh, hit any snags along the way. (laughs) 
They are playing with the ball in the space station back here. Oh, that's Rammy. Hi, Rammy. What you doing, buddy? You being a space cat? Okay. Who, who squeaked? Hmm. Somebody squeaked. I don't know where it came from. Okay, uh, let's see now. This says Kitten Academy. All right, well, fairly generic, but that's us. Oh, well, I immediately recognize who this is from. This must be from Clint. Uh, let's find the note, though, to make sure. Indeed. Aw, oh, this is so cute. Mr. Teaspoon. I love that. Mr. Teaspoon. DJ's going to think that's so cute. Here are bowls for you and your family. I love how it's Teaspoon and his family. It's not, uh, it's not Nibbles and her family. That's very cute and silly and wonderful. Uh, so, as usual, you have sent these amazing bowls. In fact, we had one that we opened yesterday, so I think... Hang on, that's noisy. <laughs> um, so I think people know uh, what we're talking about, but these are those wonderful steel, stainless steel bowls with a little rubber rim. These will last forever, and I know that the adopters really appreciate these. Uh, and Clint, you sent these for every class for a very long time. It's so wonderful and thoughtful of you uh, and I just I want you to know that I really appreciate it too uh, and it's 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 great so thank you very much for that uh, I want to make sure that these go for nibbles and the meowers and that's what this box has been for so far although I think we're gonna have to upgrade in a minute to a bigger box uh, nibbles and the utensils I mean I, I know what I'm saying Okay, uh, Clint, again, thank you. That's, um, I really can't say enough how wonderful that is. Okay, oh, look at this. We've got another. Uh, well, this is also from Ruth and Bob, I can see from the outside, uh, to go along with that letter. Oh, and another note, the note. Wow, this is packed full, my goodness. Okay, oh, and very heavy. All right, hang on. Okay, to read on stream. Good, that's what we like. Oh, hip, hip. Hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Thank you from the bottom of our hearts for all you do every day to care for the kittens and mom cats of KA. To say your hands are full right now is an understatement. We hope our little box of kitty goodies helps brighten the day. Much love and thanks, Ruth and Bob. Well, thank you, Ruth and Bob. You guys always take such good care of us. I really do appreciate it. So you have sent um, <clears throat> Puddles Adopted Kittens. That's cute. So Wellington uh, and company. We have these cute little atom atomic balls, I guess. I don't know. And the Smarty Cat Skitter Critters, the ones that look like fruit, though. Uh, those are great fun. We have faculty feline greenies in the savory salmon flavor. Beautiful. We have puddles kittens number one, raindrop, drizzle, etc. Oh, these are fun. These, uh, again, I still don't know what you call them, but these uh, balls with the, they're made out of tubes and they've got the little Charlie balls on these things at the end and they're, they're very weird little toys, but the kittens love them. Uh, these are puddles. Puddles gets an entire value pack of, uh, let's see, we've got little fur balls, some weird springs, some regular springs, a little tiny wand, and some plastic balls with jingles in them, and some fun tubes, a collection of fun tubes at the bottom. And I like this, uh, whoever packages these, um, I guess, uh, Vibrant Life. They, they include a whole bunch of fun tubes, but they have one where the edge turned in so that somebody who's not too familiar would know how to deal with the rest of them. That's, that's cool. Uh, I like that. Okay. We have Mama Puddles uh, gets... Oh, here's that funny toy I was talking about. There's one here that's already open so you can see what I'm talking about. I, I still can't figure out how to describe this. It's got a little bit of everything going on. There's a feather, there's ribbons, and then there's this weird uh, tube material... Uh, but, like, you can see it's a popular toy. Even Maggie wants to go for it right now. Plus, you've sent a whole bunch of treats. The Delectable Squeeze-Up, uh, which are sort of like Churu. And those are going to be great, too. Puddles will really appreciate those. 
Uh, I'm going to set that right back here for a minute. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. You sent some chicken and gravy baby food. That's also something that's super helpful for us. And another thing, just like the wipes that we have just run out of. Now, I did order some myself, um, uh, but uh, this can go along with what I ordered, and it will be super useful. We love this uh, for all kinds of things, and it comes in handy as uh, the sort of the first thing to help us uh, feed the kitties too, but also works as great as a treat, and uh, whoops, when we have sick kittens, and just, we use it for so many things, so that's specifically the Gerber chicken and gravy baby food, which is made up, it says called chicken and gravy, but the only ingredients are water and chicken, and a little bit of cornstarch, so it's not too thin, uh, which is all just great for cats, so that's perfect. Uh, thank you so much for that. You also sent, uh, it says, press your lunch chicken dinner in a hydrating puree. Well, what a great idea. That's from Waruva, and I know that they are good people uh, at Waruva there. They've contacted us before and sent us some stuff directly, and uh, we like them as a company. They're just, we like anybody that likes us. <laughs> We're easy that way. Uh, so I didn't know they made this food that's, I guess, supposed to be specifically hydrating, which uh, is super useful. And it is a, it's, it looks like a thin pate. It really looks like sort of like a baby food type product that's made specifically for kittens. So that'll be fun for us to try out, and I appreciate it. And I like the press your lunch. Uh, that's cool. All right. Next up, uh, K.A. Uh, this is a signature soft throw. Oh, I see. It's a throw with, uh, with these cute little kitties on it. Well, I don't want to open it up right now and have to fold it and stuff, but you can see it's got kittens with glasses. This one's wearing a headband. Um, this one over here has some sort of a scarf on, I think. Uh, very, very cute and beautiful, and I love that teal color. And you've sent two of those for us, so DJ can have matching chairs. Oh, I see the picture of the whole thing right here. I don't know how well you can see that. But it is cats wearing glasses and scarves and uh, little headbands. Very cute. All right, uh, DJ will appreciate the fact that we can make the room mix uh, match. Now, look at this. You've sent Trader Joe's uh, Spicy Chakri Mix. And uh, that's awesome. I think you sent this once before. Someone did, and I'm pretty sure it was you. And I said, oh, I wonder if DJ will like that. Well, I can tell you, DJ really liked it. Uh, in fact, I think she ate the whole bag already, or maybe even on the first couple days. So it's very sweet of you to send some more. I know she will get a kick out of that. Uh, it's rare to find stuff that you can buy at a place like Trader Joe's that sort of hits that uh, Indian style that is so specific to South India uh, and DJ's, the snacks that she grew up with. It's really hard to find stuff that works for her. Uh, but that did, so, so it's so sweet of you to send more. Thank you very much for that. Uh, oh, and I see you sent something that must be for me as well. You sent Stroop waffles. Oh, wow. Well, my waistline doesn't need them, but that is not going to stop me. Those things are so good. I especially like to eat them frozen. I don't know if you've ever tried that. Now, you're supposed to take them and put them uh, like on the top of your cup of coffee or tea and let that warm them up. And that is a good way to eat them. But uh, especially when it's warm outside, you put one in, in the freezer until it's frozen and then you get this really cool, like you can, you can bite it and it's, it's got this real snap to it. And then as you chew on it, it gets all chewy and oh, they're wonderful. Okay, you also sent Baby Blue uh, Healthy Growth Formula, the blue brand for tiny kittens. That sounds awesome. I don't think we've tried that before, but I bet the kittens will enjoy trying it. So thank you so much for Baby Blue. Uh, also a, a great name. Uh, let's see, we have Wellness Kitten Pate as well. So this is a great variety of different foods for us to try on the kittens. Oh, what? There's more. Uh, Nulo. Is this the Nulo? Oh, I see. It's a Nulo mix. We have chicken and salmon and chicken and chicken liver. Uh, it'll be fun to see if there's one that they like better. Oh, a yellowfin tuna and shrimp recipe. Wow. Uh, those should be also very fun. It's good to have a variety sometimes when we have kittens that don't want to, that don't want to eat. How cool is that? It's, this is, I, You've sent us a sign that says hisses get kisses. I what happened? I I don't know. Maybe I guess I guess it's kind of an obvious thing to say. So I'm not going to be like I invented that saying. How did it get on a box? Uh, but as far as I know, I did. Um, so that's pretty cool, isn't it? Uh, so uh, that's that's adorable. Hisses get kisses. That's perfect. We will put that sign up. That's that's really something that kind of blows my mind a little bit. Unless you had that specially made. Uh, for us, in which case it's still super cool. 
Um, thank you so much for that. That's, that's super cute. And then we have this appears to be a bed. It's already open, so let's take a look. Oh, wow. Well, it's not exactly a bed. It's more of a mat, and uh, it's got this wonderful, floofy uh, sort of like a marshmallow bed on it. And I think the kittens are going to love lying on this. It's perfect. Thank you so much for that. Uh, and I see it's got these uh, little elastic bits in the corner, too, and a couple of, of um, buttons on it. So if I could figure it out, if I were clever, there's probably a way to roll this thing up and have it sort of hook on itself so it stays closed or maybe even fold it up into uh, a bed shape. I don't think I'm going to figure it out right now, but it's something for me to think about. It's like a puzzle to solve. I do see one, two, three, four. What if we did... It's like an origami puzzle, isn't it? Hmm. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. we got to keep rolling. that would be fun. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure it out. That's... All right. Thank you so much uh, for that as well. Now, I need to... I guess I'm going to put the this stuff in here for general... No, this was the general use box, and I think we can fit most of this that needs to go over there, over there. So let's put that there. And then these are for puddles. Uh, we do need to get her a bigger endowment box, so let's switch that into here. There we go. Uh, the food can go straight to the kitchen. This is puddles. This is puddles. These are all foods to go to the kitchen. Uh, so that's good. And then these can go into the general use for now. Perfect. Okay, good. The food I will get sorted out. That will just go straight from here to the kitchen. So there we go. Out of the way. All right, now we got a big box. Uh, Ruth, Bob, one more time. Thank you so much. You guys take wonderful care of us, and I, I really do appreciate it. Um, let's put your note over here with the notes, I hope. Okay, yes, that is good. Perfect. And let's keep rolling. Wonderful. All right. Uh, this one says Joy F right on the outside, so we know uh, who it's from. But what is it? It's a box in a box. A mystery. An enigma wrapped in an enigma. It says Felt Cat Tunnel Play Activity Rug Exercise. Well, that's certainly a word cloud. Let's see what it looks like. Ooh. Huh. Well, I see felt. This is still confusing, though. Look at that. It's some really thick, like the industrial, uh, like millimeter thick felt. It might even be two millimeters. Uh, and it's each one has a piece of Velcro on the ends. So I'm guessing there's some way to fit them together to, to make something. Or maybe it's made to be made into multiple things. And they've each got these cutouts in it, too which I recognize as having those little, the, the points on them, so they look like stars are like a safety feature for kittens to go through them. So I can tell that's part of the intent, is to have kittens go through it um, and play in it. And then there's this big piece that looks like it must be the bottom. Ah, I do see that. It has a bottom. And there's more Velcro here. So this must be... Wow. Okay, this looks really cool. This looks like kind of like the Ripple Rug. Um, but I think, let's just see if I can figure out how these pieces go on there. I was hoping that somewhere in here would be sandwiched uh, in instructions or something. And I'm sure I could find the picture online and that would tell me exactly what I'm supposed to do with it. But what fun is that? I mean, who does that? Reads instructions? That's, nah, that's not for me. Uh, <laughs> let's just see what we get here. I guess we could put them on that way. Uh, or we could put them on this way. Okay, I think this way. Let's see. Oh, but if we turn it around, maybe it'll look even more interesting. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay, let's try that. I think this is... I think that's going to work. I don't know if it's right that way or the other way. We can put some on in both directions, perhaps. And some of them have little balls attached to them. How fun. Oh, the kittens are going to have a blast with this. We can just leave it out right now, I think. Unless, uh, Joy, if you had some other purpose for it, in which case I apologize. Um, but this looks fun. Okay. Am I doing it right? Nobody knows. Okay. 
And then one more. Good thing that Diet Coke's not open yet. I mean, generic beverage. Uh, <laughs> those are some great primary colors and pink. Uh, so, well, I guess yellow's not either. Is it? Is it? Wait, I don't know. Boy, it's been so long since grade school. I don't even know what counts anymore. Well, now I don't have any place to put it because it's big and I want it to be right here front and center where people can watch it. So let's, um, let's just try to do that anyway. I'll move myself and all this stuff over a little bit. There we go. And this stuff too can move over this direction. And then I'm going to have to reach past all that to get the last couple of boxes. Uh, very interesting. All right. I had no idea what that was going to be. Uh, but I think we put it together the right way. Who knows? All right. Um, let's get these boxes. All right. Well, maybe I just move over here for a second. Can you guys still see this? I guess I got to check with my phone that's all the way over on that side. Oh, here we go. Where's Custard? Custard, you're the ripple rug expert. Well, maybe you can show them how to use this one that's not quite a ripple rug. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is good enough. We can make this work. Cool. All right. Oh, well, this also says Joy F. All right. There we go. One nice thing about the lav mic is if I move around the room, it doesn't change uh, your ability to hear me at all. Okay, another box in a box. We've got a theme here from Amazon. This says three-in-one scratcher combo. Oh, this is nice. Um, it is uh, basically like the infinity scratcher, except it's a series of... It appears to be a cube inside a cube-shaped frame, and inside the cube there is a cylinder that pops out. And this, uh, see, Custard loves the ripple rug, and so he's going to get into this thing too, but he just chased off the kitten. Look at him being a big old kitten again. Ever since he got his new meds, he has just really turned back into the Custard that we used to know and love. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, you show him how it's done. It's not as easy to hide in this one, though, is it? I do think the ripple rug's got to win some points for that. Uh, this one sort of cheats by having these little balls for the kittens to be attracted to. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, you can see it's the, the same kind of idea. <laughs> you can't hide in this one, though, Custer. It's not big enough for you. We'll have to get out the real ripple rug if you're going to be playful like this. <laughs> so cute. Uh, all right, so um, this is really pretty uh, cardboard scratcher, and um, you know I'm just I don't want to get it out right now. We've got a lot of stuff going on out here, but I hope you can see it's basically a cube shape uh, with a cylinder that pops out of the cube and a bigger cube that goes around the smaller cube. I, I hope that makes sense. Um, so three in one. And uh, it, I'm sure it fills this entire box with cardboard so you can picture the size of it. And that will be super useful for as soon as we need a new cardboard scratcher to deploy. Cardboard scratchers turn out to be the greatest thing. I remember when I first started seeing them, I'm like, these cost too much and how can they possibly last? Um, but mostly they do last very well and they work very well and the kittens love them. Custer is just going to defend his new territory. <laughs> he really likes that. And meanwhile, Ari's got himself in this box over here. Okay, uh, Joy, thank you so much for sending those things. Those are uh, all wonderful, so I'm excited. Uh, next up we have... Well, it jingles. Let's see, is there a note? Enjoy your gift. These look like fun for the whole house from Jackie. All right, Jackie. Well, let's see what looks like fun. Oh, we got a little teaspoon is playing now next to custard. I know that's got to be on the ceiling camera at least, but I just want to take a picture here of him playing at the same time as his big bro and custard's face. I know you can't see custard's face, but I wish you could. Oh, he's going to smack the other kittens for getting too close to him. Oh, these are fun. Oh, Jackie, these are super fun. 
So you sent these are the little silver vine uh, like geometrical shapes with a, a jingly ball on the inside. These are a big hit. Uh, Maggie loves them. All the faculty love them. We've got a couple around somewhere that are probably all used up and need replacements. So these are perfect. And what a great set you found. Oh, oh, this is a very different one too. So uh, the set you found has that one I just showed, plus this one that's very similar but has a catnip ball inside, the compressed catnip. And then this one is so weird, it's a mouse. Can you see that? It's made out of little silver vine sticks, so it's like a, a, um, uh, like a Voronoi uh, mouse, if I'm even pronouncing that right. Uh, but it's even got little eyes, and on the front it's got little mouse whiskers, so they've really put in some detail, and it's got the little tail here on the end. And then inside is a rattle ball and a catnip ball. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like that mouse one. And then to top it off, there are two of these silver vine sticks that are wrapped with string and have the silver vine nugget on the end, which the cats are crazy about those. Uh, so those are always, always a big, big hit around here. Those silver vine nuggets get pulled off almost immediately. Uh, that is a really cool set, Jackie. Thank you so much. We will definitely deploy those around the uh, academy. In fact, I'm going to save them over here to put into the uh, treat cabinet so that DJ will find them and can decide to throw them out for the kittens. Uh, throw them out sounds like, that sounds like the wrong thing. Um, you know what I mean. Put them out. Throw them around. Uh, Jackie, thank you so much. Those are great. This is addressed to Kitten Academy as you see fit. So, uh, that's very cute, but I'm guessing that means there's not going to be a note. Let's see. Oh, yep. oh, wow, that's really... Oh, hey, I recognize this. Hang on now. This is really stuck in. Okay, well, there isn't a note, but it is, it's receiving blankets, and it's the receiving blanket that has a unicorn sleeping on the moon in this beautiful lavender color. And I know we've had this one before, and I love it so much. I try to use it sparingly. Um, but it might have been a recent victim of some poops that couldn't be cleaned, so it may be a good replacement, or it may be a duplicate of one of my favorite receiving blankets. So thank you so much for that. It also looks like it's this one is not exactly the same as the one we have, because I can see it's got a finished edge, which none of them do. I see. This says it's a j jumbo swaddle blanket, and it is 48 inches by 48 inches. Oh my goodness, it is much bigger. Oh, that's great. So that'll be enough to sort of line the entire bottom of Custard. Custard, that was rude. He just attacked Ari for no reason other than that he's feeling all perky. So rude. Um, thank you so much for this. I love this pattern. Whoever sent it, uh, we will definitely use it as we see fit. It will be perfect to, to really make one of the boxes look good until it's on again. And, you know, of course, we do, I'm not saying, like, we just throw everything out the minute it gets poop on it. Um, but uh, when I said that earlier, I was saying every now and then we get a poop that is just too much. Uh, and then we end up losing them that way. There's some attrition in it. Uh, let's see if I can get it all the way into that box from here. You think I can? Oh, oh, yeah. All right, off the backboard, but it still counts. Okay. Uh, next up, Kitten Academy. All right, well, that's us. Let's see if there's a note. Ooh. All right, we have a little tiny kitty cuddle pal. It says soothe and calm. I guess, uh, oh, I see, it's got a buckwheat in it that you microwave to make it warm so the kittens have something warm to cuddle with. I think I can imagine what that's for, but let's keep looking for a note. And this mysterious cylinder... There is a note, and it says, Enjoy your gift. These two are for the tiny May kittens from Jody and my cat Lily. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I guess Jody Lynn is probably uh, from Jody Lynn and my cat Lily. Uh, that is perfect. And then this says, it is a, oh, a dog, uh, it's a cat and dog blanket. So you sent a blanket and a little snuggly thing for them. That's so sweet. Um, they're living in the... <laughs> Excuse me. They're living in the, the Pebble Mobile, which is that carrier that uh, Pebble lived in for a while. And these things will fit perfectly in there for them. Uh, okay. Oh, good. 
Okay, I don't have to open it all the way quite yet, but oh, this is nice. This is, um, it's got these little paw prints on it, and it's made out of a very soft material, and it's got, again, a nice finished edge on it. Uh, we don't see that too much in kitty blankets, so that's wonderful. A lot of times the edges are just surged and then left, uh, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, but it's nice to see a fancy edge. So uh, thank you so much for that, Jody Lynn and your cat. All right, our final package. Wow, 11.45. All right, we did it. Oh, all right. Well, I recognize that these are going to be little rattle mice, I bet. Oh, no, little crinkle balls. All right, a box of crinkle balls. Oh, and I think that's the thing that was pending from uh, the notes right there. Laura Kitten Fan. Yes, that's it. We should have... Somebody, if somebody was really on top of their game... Uh, you could have guessed that this was going to be the crinkle balls that hadn't yet turned up from Laura Kitten Fan. So thank you so much for those as well. Uh, what a great set of stuff for the kittens to all enjoy quite a bit. Um, and I'm, I'm not surprised that they're already going for this felt thing. I'm, I will be surprised if it stands up for long uh, with the faculty uh, getting into it the way that they do. Maybe this is something that we should bring to the medium-sized kittens upstairs to play with. Although, again, uh, even with the little safety cutouts, I think it's best for supervised play. Uh, not that our kittens don't have plenty of supervisors. I do really appreciate that. I think it's been a while since I've said uh, how helpful it is to have all of you keeping an eye on the kittens for us and letting us know if anything seems like it's gone wrong, <laughs> which, which does happen from time to time. So uh, thanks to all of you for, uh, for helping us out, for taking care of the kittens, and for being wonderful people. I really appreciate it, and uh, and thanks also to uh, to everybody that either adopts the kittens or helps find people to adopt the kittens. It is just about time for these older kittens to find their adopters, and uh, I haven't yet looked to see you know whether there's applications that have come in or whether Dawes has got it all sorted out. They might just be waiting to hear about what happens with Teaspoon so that they can sort everything at once, and that would be fair too, since we'll find out on Tuesday. That's soon enough. Anyway, uh, time for me to get up and get all this stuff cleaned up. I wish you could see Teaspoon and uh, Spatula here playing with the ball tower. They're so cute. Teaspoon's a big fan of the ball towers and the ball tracks. Um, you know, every kitten likes them, but every now and then there's a kitten where it's just their favorite thing. And it seems like for Teaspoon, it's the ball tracks that are his favorite toy. And the tower is probably a close second. I guess he likes to keep things on rails. Uh, the kitten, it's a kitten rail shooter. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I'm going to get this stuff put up again. Thanks. Thanks to everybody for everything. And, um, well, after I get everything put up, we'll end the archive and someday those will get uploaded. I they really will someday. I, I mean it, um, you know, inevitably. Uh, yeah. All right. Okay. Let's see how to organize these things. These should go upstairs. This should go in here. Actually, maybe this should go by the microwave first so we can warm it up. That'd be fun. There we go. Okay, okay, so this was all going to get oh, consolidated in here, and then we were going to write n nibbles plus on here, because that's the, who that's for. So we can do that, and then we can put away this box. So this goes downstairs. This goes downstairs. I think. Oh. Oh wow, I bet DJ's gonna want to put that out right now though. Well, we'll figure it out. Okay. And this goes downstairs. So cool. Alright. Good. Okay, this gets put away. 
All the kittens playing in the new toy. Oh, I should probably shut off this mic and uh, before I forget. So let's do that. Oh, wow, it fell inside my shirt too. I guess that probably wasn't working too well, but you know, it is what it is.
my spatula. I'm going to take this away. Oh, here you go. Probably about time we go off for lunch to the little tiny kittens. Put these nice shelves up in the basement for the purpose of keeping and sorting the endowments. Uh, and the shelves are completely empty. Oh, hey, we missed the box, everybody. Oh, boy. From Rhonda. Rhonda, I'm so sorry. Let's open this right now. Okay. Oh. It says, oh, there we go. Sending you some good vibes and positivity because you might need some at the moment. Thank you for all you do, as hard as it may be sometimes, from Rhonda. Well, Rhonda, I think you said some of these yesterday, too. I get the idea here. This is going to be from the smell. I can tell it's going to be another candle. By the way, I already started one of those candles, the, the one I couldn't figure out what it smelled like yesterday. So nice. Uh, luck is preparation meeting opportunity. Ooh. Ah, that also smells really nice. It smells like, now I know what this smells like. It smells like. Smells like my favorite soap, Irish Spring. Uh, that's what it smells like to me. That's great. Uh, I'm, I'm also enjoying that. So thank you again, uh, Rhonda. Thanks. I'm, I'm sorry, I almost missed that. How rude. I apologize, uh, but these are great. Thank you for the candles. Okay. Hey, buddy, let me take this paper, okay? You keep playing in there. I think my point I was making about what the I put in all the work of putting together nice shelves to keep all the endowments on, and I haven't used them. They're, they're, the shelves are empty, and all the endowments are sitting on the floor like they always do. So uh, good on me for getting the job halfway done. <laughs> you can't fit through that tiny hole. Oh my goodness, he is really loving this thing, especially when there's kittens to smack. <laughs> It doesn't really put up with his weight too well, though, does it? Good job, buddy. I'm proud of you.
right. Well, hey, that was Mailbag. Thanks again to everybody for everything, as always. Just wonderful people. And uh, the kittens are so well cared for in, in a way that I just could not do by myself. Oh, and so I really appreciate that. You guys make everything better for them. Uh, and it's, it's great. So, all right, let's uh, wrap that up.